how you see a new system based on video, on stereoscopy, in which you can uh, measure, not with a human eye, but with computers, you can measure all the parameters of the wave. As an athlete, to be in the water and receive this instant feedback, like, you know, that was a really high one. You can go a little bit steeper, is super valuable information. We have two cameras and by looking at corresponding point uh, we can triangulate the point so we can have a measure of the distance of every point in this image. So at the end, after some processing, we can create a dense 3D surface uh, evolving over time. And so from that, we can measure waves, we can uh, and also get uh, oceanographic uh, and statistical parameters of the surface, like uh, you know the spectrum, the direction of the waves, all this kind of stuff. So here you have, on top of the image, superimposed to the image, these colors that tells you the elevation, the local elevation of the uh, of the waves. So blue is lower than the average sea level, and yellow and red is uh, the elevation. Traditional instruments just measure the waves in a single point, and how the single point propagates along the time. But with this new new technology, stereo video, you can measure a spatial area and see how this spatial data propagates over time. We already experienced some systems of measuring waves, but this one I think is the most consistent until now. It brings transparency to all the, the, the industry, of course. With a system that accurates by a feet, which is it's amazing, that would be really good for everyone. Se isto for standardizado, se isto for caminhar-se para a aceitação e se este processo for como referência, tens aqui mais um, um, um mercado, entre aspas, muito significativo uh, no sentido de poder ajudar uh, uh, a fazer considerações sobre questões de treino, etc. Olha, aqui nesta profundidade, aqui nesta altura de onda Luís, temos... Pá, aqui, uh, as enormes potencialidades que, que, se podem, que se podem criar. The difference of this system is that it was tested before, it was validated before in the scientific community, so uh, several uh, researchers that are included in this team uh, uh, have already published papers using the system in extreme wave conditions. We actually accomplished something to measuring like uh, the first for the first time the biggest waves ever measured uh, by uh, proper scientific method. These things bring into the, the knowledge of this area is the capacity of having the spatial temporal evolution of the waves when they interact they reach the highest uh, level the highest slope which is quite important for surfers but the oceanographer too because you can learn how the wave uh, uh, transform the energy when they break. Measuring these extreme conditions is uh, extremely difficult for any type of instrumentation. Uh, any traditional instrument that is using oceanography does not work in these conditions. We've been investing a lot of money and that has made us a benchmark in terms of the services made available to support the surface. Having people from all over, scientists, developing a system in order to have a credible measurement of the wave for us means the world. It means also that the idea of the biggest waves of the planet for surfing might be also proven by this measurement. Having that measurement being displayed on a TV for, for whoever is over here or at home watching the biggest waves of the planet with the size of the wave. I would say it's something like a cherry on top of the cake. Common citizen will have the chance to see live 
the wave, to be wowed by the wave, but also to be uh, at that moment to know the measurement of the wave and to know in first hand if we have a new world record or not. <laughs>